Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Cute Girl on here doing a quick video for you guys just to talk to you about some lipsticks that I purchased from the beauty supply store. As soon as I put one of the lipsticks on, I was like, why didn't I buy more? That is just like the instant thought. I mean, I'm like, why didn't I purchase more? When I was there, I ran into Platinum D and she was looking at them and I said, ooh, are those purple? And I just grabbed them because, you know, I don't want to fan out too hard or be a groupie. But, uh, <laughs> so I grabbed the two and I just went on and started looking at some other stuff. But I wish I would have grabbed some more of the, let me show you what I got. The LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Glosses. So that's what I have. I only bought two. I bought these two purple ones. I have seen a couple of videos on YouTube, so I know that there's probably about 16 shades. So I'm going to go back to my beauty supply store when I have a chance and see what other shades they have and possibly purchase more because I really do like them. But I'll wait for the review because I will let you know about both colors are beautiful, but one of them is just a little streaky, but you have to know how to put it on properly. But it's a beautiful shade. It is so pretty. I wish I would have had this shade during during the fall and the shade that I'm talking about is uh, I believe it's called black current and this is what it looks like as you can see it has the packaging on here it had more packaging on here because I want to say that they have sensors on them so they'll go off at the door but as you can see they were like $3.99 each so I've heard that they're going right for these lipsticks online and through um, various websites is like five dollars so I got them from a beauty supply store for $3.99 which is a steal I wish I would have purchased more so what I'm gonna do is start off with the lightest color which is this color here and let me see I believe this is stunner now when you take off the like sticker or whatever um because the name of the lipstick is on here see this here this is a sticker the, the packaging as far as the um, writing and the name and everything all that's a sticker so it can come off okay so um, yeah as far as the name and everything so this one doesn't have it on here but you can see the residue of where there was a sticker on here if that makes sense um, it's $3.99 and this is Stunner uh, I had to look it up online because I couldn't remember the name because trying to get the packaging off at the beauty supply store it was hard and I didn't realize I was taking the name of the lipstick off but if you purchase online you won't have this issue so that's good news so what I'm going to do is go ahead and try on stunner for you guys so you can see what it looks like and I'll go ahead and remove it so you can see you know how it removes as well so this is going to be live and so this is stunner here's the applicator as you can see it's a flat applicator and um it kind of has a, a slant in it, so it's very thin. So let's try to put this on and see what it looks like. Oh boy, this is a beautiful color. And I have a habit of blotting my lips um, when I put on lipstick. That way, I don't have it messy. But as you guys can see, this is pretty. I'm going to put a little bit more on here. You don't have to add two coats, but I like to. Mm, it's pretty. I like the texture of it, and this is a shade that I put on immediately because I had the heroin lip pencil on, and I was wearing it as a lipstick, and then when I came out of the beauty supply store, I just put this on top of here, uh, this liquid lipstick. And it looks so pretty. Look at that, y'all. It is gorgeous. And yes, it does dry down to a matte. It only takes a few seconds for it to dry down. And I wasn't for sure if it was one of those liquid lipsticks that didn't transfer at first. I thought maybe this is just a matte lipstick. I honestly thought that. So let's see if it's dry down yet. So it's starting to dry down a little bit. You can see a little residue. A little bit of the lipstick there so right now it's pretty much dry so that's it. it it's beautiful it's a beautiful formula this is my 
second liquid lipstick that I've ever purchased. The first ones that I've ever purchased were like the Me Now uh, lip glosses that are on eBay for like a dollar and change. I like these. You gotta know how to put them on. They do not go on as smooth as these. These are really good. I've heard so many different reviews on the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks, pluses and minuses all over YouTube. I've heard about the, um, what do you call it? Uh, Pretty Zombie. Also, Dose of Colors and some other ones. I don't have any of them, but I've seen the reviews and I've heard people rant and rave about how good they are. This is a pretty good product. So, and it's only $3.99. So, really, to be honest with y'all, the only liquid lipsticks that I'm waiting for after these, they will be the matte ones that are supposed to come out this summer. So, I believe they're called the Retro Matte um, Lips, Liquid Lipsticks or whatever. But they come out this summer. So, this is good for now. I really do like this. Look. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. And if it's going to be a liquid lipstick, I don't want no transferring. So that's just that. I like it. And I had this on. I, after I ate, I think I ate like one of those, you know, corn in the cup, you know, from the, uh, what do you want to call it, little stands at the uh, bazaar. So this stayed on. And it was a day that I had oatmeal. I had all, I think I had shrimp fried rice that day. Crab ragoon. And this was still on. It was on when I got home at like 5.30, so I probably put that on around, I don't know, 10 a.m., and it was still on and still had a, a stain at the end of the day. I really think this is a gorgeous color. If you want to know how this compares to heroin, I can swatch it for you so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is Stunner, which is definitely a Stunner, okay? And then I have... Um, the Absolute, I did a video about this. Um, Absolute New York, Matt, I got this from the beauty supply store. I can't remember the pricing, but it was like in the same price range. So that's the difference between the two. If you wanted to know uh, the difference between, let's see, okay, where is heroin? Guys, okay, here's heroin right here. Okay, so if you want to know what the difference was between heroin, there it is. See, as you can tell, um, none of those shades are similar. You wanted to compare this to Matte Glam by Milani. Yeah. So, they're not the same. Just in case you wanted to expand your purple lipstick collection like your girl. So, let's get started. I'm going to take a baby wipe. And I'm going to wipe it off with the baby wipe. And these are just the Equate Wipes from Wally World. So, that way you can see how it comes off. If you hear some stirring, I'm multitasking. <laughs> yeah, and the hubby is just stirring the meat for me. So, yeah. So that's what it looks like when you try to take it off with a wipe. I have the Avon Moisture Effective um, Makeup Remover, so you can add a small drop of this onto your baby wipe, or you can put it on your lips and do this. You can just do that. Depends on how you want to do it. A lot squeezes out. Do it like that. Rub your lips together. And then try to take it off. And that should help. So let's see how long it takes me. And again, this is live, obviously. No editing today. No ma'am. So that removes it. And I'm not sure how much the price is for the uh, Avon makeup remover. But sometimes you could catch it for 99 cents on the website. That's the lowest car. And I'm just trying to get under there because I missed it. I didn't have no mirror. I was using the viewfinder. I know this looks crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I want to make sure I get, get it all off, which it's almost all off. It's just right out of here. It's, it's there. 
and I'm dropping my beer. <laughs> you girl is crazy. So, <laughs> yeah. Can you get that mirror for me? And drop it under the table. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Use this one because it's bigger. So, um, yeah. Okay, it's all off. I just ignore the background noise. My husband and the dog. Okay, so this one is black currant. You guys, and of course it still has some of the packaging on here. So I'm going to try that on now. Same doe foot applicator. Now this one was a little streaky. I tried this on yesterday. So, yeah, it was a little streaky. And I'm going to swatch this for you on my hand. The way you can see it. Very pretty purple. Very pretty. I really like this shade. Uh, um, let me see if I have anything comparable. I don't know, you guys. Let's look in this collection. Um, a little bit of these purples. What is... Let me try this one. I want to know how it compares to Gunner by MAC. There you go. Gunner. And, um... I don't know where this lipstick is. But I do have the lipstick, um, the Lord lipstick. Um, here's Pong Couture. I'm just trying to find some dark purples to compare it with. That's Pong Couture at the bottom by MAC. Um, I don't know where that Lord lipstick is. The one that's called Pure Heroin, but it's not matte anyway. The ones that I just showed you, they were matte. So let's go ahead and get this on the lip so you guys can see exactly what it looks like on and see how I apply it when it starts to get streaky. See that? And to me it looks like the lower lipstick, the um, pure heroin is just in a matte formula to me. See. streaky purple so what I did was I wait a little while to apply another layer and why do I keep wanting to drop this mirror guys girl just got her nails done you know she took a little break from my nails and she's trying to get used to it but it is so pretty so let me try another layer So, I may have to be playing around with it. So, you see that? Then you start blending it in. And then it starts to unify, you know? It starts to come together. But it's such a pretty color. But it's always the dark colors that do this type of thing. Like, um, Max Gunner kind of does the, the same thing too. But that's what it looks like, y'all. It's pretty. It, it is. It's just no doubt. I just kind of rubbed off some of my makeup. But I like it. I like it. You have to definitely work with it. I'm going to do some searches on these via YouTube. And see um, which ones apply patchy. You know, just to know which ones I'll have to work with. Even though it doesn't matter to me because it still looks great. You know what I'm saying? I like it, so here's some swatches so that you guys can see what it comes close to. So, as you can see, this one is dry. Yeah. So that's
there you go not a thing it doesn't transfer now as you start eating some greasy stuff of course it you know it might come off but it'll still be there you know it'll just come off a little bit that's been my experience with wearing them so I like it so you guys tell me what you think tell me which ones you recommend and that's it you guys quick video and thank you so much for watching you guys you have a oh one last thing I want to address someone wanted to know what type of nail polish I was wearing because your girl is purple it's Jay I don't know who Jay is I grabbed this while I was checking you know about to check out at the beauty supply store when I picked these up it's called Jay and the shade is lavender so it's yeah Jay the shine the lady at the nail place was wondering where did you get that polish from because look at the shine on this polish it's beautiful I got my nails and my feet done in this color love it lavender is the color so thank you guys again for watching and have a great day bye